Hey everybody, welcome to the real United States. It's the spring of 1865. It's April 14th. Only five days ago, the Civil War came to an end when General Robert E. Lee signed the surrender of the Confederate States to General Ulysses S. Grant. Everybody's celebrating, times are good, everyone's happy. The war has finally ended. We're here in front of Ford's Theater. On that night, the President, Abraham Lincoln, and his wife, Mary Todd, along with a few close friends, came to fi finally see a production and relax. The production that evening was Our American Cousin. We got seated in the booth, the show is going on. And every American everywhere knows this story, that during that performance, an actor, a very famous actor, in fact, John Wilkes Booth, stuck into the back of the president's booth, put a gun against his head, and shot. He then leaped over the railing, slid down a, a drape, breaking his leg, stood on stage, and screamed, Sic Semper Tyrannus, to thus all tyrants. Now, that happened in this very place on that night in 1864, 1865, I'm sorry, April 14th in 1865. Interesting thing about what Booth yelled is that Sex Semper Tyrannus was actually back in 1776 uh, suggested by statesman George Mason as a part of the Virginia motto. And it's been used throughout American history by other organizations. Um, not quite such a pretty uh, thing is that it was actually lettered on the shirt uh, that Timothy McVeigh was wearing the day he was arrested for committing the Oklahoma City bi uh, bombing. So it, it um, through our history, it's had uh, various good and bad associations. Booth was later captured, and tried, and executed. The theater afterwards uh, was appropriated by the United States government. And for a time there was uh, a law that prohibited the performance of entertainment there. It eventually was turned over to the Department of the War. It, uh, was housed a bunch of clerks and, and at one point in the early part of the 20th century the front fell off and sadly killed 12 of those clerks. It's been through numerous restorations including one as recently as the two, early 2000s um, and even as near as 2009 but it is still now an operating theater at least part of the time. Largely it is uh, a national park and a museum but occasionally there are performances here. There is a 365 seat theater. That's how many people this can hold. And uh, Beverly and I have noticed in uh, December uh, the signs around town here in DC that say they're going to, you know, they put on a performance of Charles Dickens A Christmas Carol. So it is still occasionally used as a theater. To actually go in and see it as a, as a museum and as a historical site, um, even though it's a national park, uh, there is a $15 per person admission. For those of you that think about coming, from what we've, we've glanced and what we've seen in pictures and whatnot, I'm not going to take you in today. I've got some pictures here that I'll show you. But it's, it's beautifully restored. Now, also a national park and also fully restored is the Peterson House, which is on the opposite side of the street. So we're going to cross the street so we can shoot back this direction and show you. So again, directly across the street, and this is 10th Street, for those of you that are wondering, or just south of F Street on 10th in DC, is the Peterson House. This is the house that Lincoln was carried to after he was shot, and where in fact he died the next morning on April 15th. Now, this was a, at the time was a boarding house. Originally it was built much earlier uh, as a private residence by a fellow named Peterson, uh, who was a tailor 
for those of you that care. But at the time that uh, Lincoln was carried here, it was, it was brought to a boarding house. They carried him out in the street, and one of the residents there said, bring him in here, bring him in here. And they brought him in, laid him down. It wasn't until the next day. They, they tried to work on him. Uh, they did not have any medical technology to speak of in 1865, and he succumbed the next morning. The property also, National Park Service, but again, it requires tickets to get inside, so be aware of that if you come here. I'm not sure if it's included in the same ticket. I don't think so. I think it's a separate ticket, so be aware of that. I'm sure that's all available online, too, through the National Park Service. Anyway, I just wanted to bring you down here and share with you Ford's Theater and the Peterson House here in Washington, D.C. These are such famous, iconic places uh, to all of those who, of us who grew up here in the United States, certainly, and I'm sure that many of you around the world have at least heard of them and the significance in our history and the loss of our, our president. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this short visit. If you've got questions or comments, hey, leave them in the comment section down below. I love hearing from all of you. I try to get back to everybody I can. If you're new here, hey, pick subscribe. Come along for the adventure because we've got lots more to show you. And as always, thank you for watching.